Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So welcome back to my eye primer wars. Today's episode four, and if you're watching this in the future, I will link all the videos down below for you. So I will be testing out 10 drugstore eye primers for your hooded eyes, and for each of these primers, I do wanna see how well they work when being set with a setting powder, and then how well they work without it. So let's go ahead and get into eye primer number four, and that's gonna be the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. So this claims to be a lightweight eye primer that preps your eyelids for eyeshadow application to increase staying power, vibrancy, and avoid creasing. I tested this product out for two days and day one is my first impression, so let's roll the tape. Today's day one and I have nothing on my eyelids, so let's go ahead and get into the eye primer. So I'm only gonna be putting eye primer on the right eye and not the left eyelid because I want to compare the two to see just how well this eye primer works. So this has a scent to it, but I'm not exactly sure what it smells like. It's not unpleasant though, so I don't mind. So here is what the primer is looking like. I like that it has a little tint to it. Ooh, it feels nice and soft. It feels very silky and lightweight. All right, now let's get this on the eyelid. I do think that this has a bit of a shimmer to it. I do have to get just a little bit closer to the mirror to see, but I do like the fact that this is giving me just a little bit of a tint. Not exactly sure why I thought there was shimmer in it. There's not. Here's what this is looking like before I set it with a translucent setting powder. So this actually dried down really nicely and it feels just so soft and velvety. I don't think I actually need to set it with a translucent setting powder, but I'm going to anyway because that's what I've been doing for this entire series. And plus tomorrow I'm not gonna set it anyway. So let's go ahead and set it with a translucent setting powder. Let's go ahead and get into the eyeshadow. I'm just going to be tapping the eyeshadow on the eyelid. All right, so that eyeshadow laid on top beautifully. Now let's get into the real test blending in the crease. So this is blending out beautifully. I don't see any skipping, tugging, patchiness, or anything like that. This is actually looking so smooth. Let's go ahead and deepen up the outer thirds. Okay, this is looking so beautiful so far, and I really hope that I can get the non-prime side to look just like this side because this is looking so perfect. I'll be right back with the rest of my makeup. Now that I'm done with the rest of my makeup, let's go and take a look at my eyes. Okay, so I tried to make my non-prime side look like my prime side because the prime side is looking just so smooth and just so beautiful, and the non-prime side is looking just a little bit patchy, but that's okay because it is to be expected. I only put eyeshadow on my oily eyelids, so, you know. Okay, so the eye primer definitely made the blending process so easy for me, but as far as vibrancy, I don't really see it. I do think that both sides, as far as vibrancy goes, look the exact same, but that's okay. It's not like I'm using crazy colors anyway. I do think that this looks so nice, but of course, let's go ahead and do a close-up so that way you guys can see everything that I'm seeing. Here's the non-prime side. You can see it's just a bit patchy, but not too bad. And here's the prime side. As you can see, it's looking a lot better than the non-prime side. Everything just looks so smooth. It's been 10 hours, so let's go and take a look at my eyes. Just as an FYI, I got up to 104 degrees here in Texas and the humidity was insane. So just so you know what this has gone through. As always, let's go ahead and get the non-prime side out of the way. The eyeshadow is completely gone from my eyelid. I actually do have just a bit of creasing like on the inner corner here. That's pretty much where all my eyeshadow went. I do still have some on the outer thirds, but that's pretty much it. Now the prime side. So I am noticing some transfer on the inner thirds, just right in the crease. And I have noticed that my eyeshadow just doesn't look as vibrant as it did earlier. So there's definitely some fading going on. And I do have just a bit of mascara transfer right here. Other than that, I do think that it looks really good after this 103 or 104 degree weather. And yes, I was outside for a little bit. I had um, a few things to do outside. So let's go ahead and do a close up so that way you guys can see. Here's what the non-prime side is looking like. And like I said, this is just not looking great at all. And here's the prime side. You can see the transfer on the inner thirds and you can see fading all throughout my eyelid. But other than that, I do think that it's held up pretty well. Today's day two, so let's go ahead and try this out again without setting with a setting powder. Again, I am only gonna be putting this on the right eye, so that way I can compare the two here and this better work out because I am gonna go get my nails done today and I don't wanna look you know, like I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup. Now that that's dried down, I'm just gonna go straight into the eyeshadow. So far, this is looking pretty good. And of course, my favorite part of the test, the blending process. 
All right, this is nice. Everything is blending. Nothing is like sticking. And I do think that this looks just a bit more vibrant than yesterday, day one, whenever I set the uh, primer. Now to deepen up the outer corners. Okay, so I am seeing just a few tugging marks on my eyelid whenever I was deepening the outer thirds. I feel like because I didn't set the primer, I should have just placed the eyeshadow on top, like kind of stamped the eyeshadow and then blended instead of just like going in and blending already. So um, that is my bad. I'm just gonna try to clean up just a bit. Okay, so other than those tugging marks, I do think that it looks pretty good. So let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Now that I'm done with the rest of my makeup, let's go and take a look at my eyes. So looking at these two side by side, I actually think that they look pretty much the same. There's no patchiness, everything blended out very well. And as far as vibrancy goes, they look the exact same. So I'm actually really happy with that because like I said, I am going out and I don't wanna look crazy. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and do a close up so that way you guys can see. And just an FYI, I do have some mascara marks on my eyelids but they are way too close to my lash line to like try to like get in there and you know take it off with a clean spoolie so I'm just gonna leave it there and we're just gonna you know let it be so here's the non-prime side it's looking pretty good and like I said let's just ignore those mascara marks and then here's the prime side it's looking pretty good looking very smooth not patchy at all it's been 10 hours so let's go and take a look at my eyes in case if you haven't already guessed the non-prime side looks terrible. <laughs> my eyeshadow is completely gone from my eyelid. Yes, I do still have eyeshadow on the outer third, but everything that is on the eyelid is gone. And then of course I do have my mascara prints. Now let's go ahead and talk about the prime side. It's actually not looking bad. I do see just a bit of transfer on the inner thirds, but really that's about it. I do also have, of course, the mascara transfer on my eyelid, but what's new? I have hooded eyes, it always happens. But I think, you know, after a 10 hour day, it being super hot outside, I think it did pretty well. Let's go ahead and do a close up so that way you guys can see. So here's what the non-prime side looks like. Like I said, everything is pretty much gone from the actual eyelid. I have mascara transfer. It just does not look that great. And then here's the prime side where I do see that transfer on the inner corner. It's really not that noticeable, but everything else is looking really nice. And of course, like I said, I do have those mascara prints. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I did not think that this primer was gonna do too well. I just haven't really had luck with any e.l.f. products. I literally only have like two products that I like of theirs, and that's gonna be the Putty Primer and the HD Setting Powder. But this primer did so well in this Texas heat, this Texas humidity, and it's only $4. This is the least expensive primer in this entire series, and I cannot wait to see how it holds up in this entire series. Now, this may come as a shock to some of you guys, but, um, I do prefer this with a setting powder. I just feel like it is super easy to blend out eyeshadow. And of course I was being sarcastic because all I ever do is set my eye primer. I just like it better that way. Now I think you guys can guess, I definitely think that this is worth the $4 and this is hooded eye approved. I freaking love this. Now I do have a question for you guys. If you guys like e.l.f., what are your favorite e.l.f. products? Let me know because I really do wanna like e.l.f. I wanna try way more products and really fall in love like everyone else. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for everything.